everybody. Welcome to Core Express. My name is Stacy. We're going to expressly work the core today. We are going to need a mat. We are going to need a light resistance mini band and a small exercise ball if you have one. But if you don't and you need a larger or you only have a larger exercise ball, that will work just as well too. We are going to start with our mini band and hope my ball doesn't roll away, but that could be part of the fun today. So we're going to have that band around our wrist and we're going to be in plank position. Okay, I'm going to demo that first exercise and then I'll have you join in. So I'm going to get into that plank position. I'm going to have my wrist under my shoulders and I'm going to come out, I'm going to tap to the side. I am trying to keep that beautiful plank position. My hips really squared up to the ground. It is not a big tap. It is just a little bit out to the side. It is that something that's making our body have to adjust and keep in that beautiful stable position. So it does not have to be a whole lot. It is not gonna be an arm exercise, okay? And if you have, you know, it's just that light resistance uh, mini band. All right. Modification would be to come down to a kneeling plank, but still keeping those shoulders over those wrists. Okay. So whatever you need, feet can come out a little bit wider. Let's go ahead and come up to that plank position. Tap right, tap left. Remember to breathe. Good, little taps. You got this. We got one more each side. Woo, love it. Now we're gonna keep our band and grab our ball. We're gonna come up to that standing position, band, Gonna come around, be above our thighs. Band can be optional though. If you don't, if it's if it's not feeling you today, that's all right. We're gonna start with that tension in the band. Feet are gonna be outside my hips. Ball is gonna be in front. What I'm going to do is sidestep while squeezing this little ball. I'm trying to squish it trying to pop it. And then I'm gonna do that overhead and back down. Three steps over, three steps back. Sit my hips back a little bit, nice athletic position, tension in the band, squeeze it, bring it up and back down. You got three steps over, three steps back. Really get that good squeeze on the ball. Everything in the front of your trunk should be firing. Plus we're adding a little resistance with the legs, getting work at the shoulders. Nice. Keeping that tension in the band as you step. Love it. Doing great, doing great. Big squeeze on that ball. Don't let up. Nice. Oh, did I mention we're gonna have five over? And five back is 10 reps. Not an over and back equal one this time. That was our five. Actually, that was our 10 total. We did five over, five back, 10 total. We're moving on to that last one in our trio of ab, trio of core, everything from the shoulders to the hips. Let's come down to our mat. We're gonna get into elbow plank, feet behind us, and we're gonna do a dip and twist. So I'm dipping my left hip, trying to get it towards the right, 
as I dip and twist, coming back up to center, dipping with the right, coming back down. But you can do this from a kneeling position as your mod. And you can start on the knees, bring it up to the feet, come back down, do whatever feels best. Okay, starting on those elbows, feet out, nice beautiful plank position. Don't let those shoulders come up towards your ears. Dip the left, back up. Oh yeah, on these, one on each side is one rep. There we go, that's two. We gotta mix it up, we gotta make our brains work. There you go. Coming back to that start position every time, own it. Nice. Don't let those shoulders hike up towards the ears. There you go. Last one on each side. Beautiful. Woo. Grab your mini band. Back around your wrist. Plank with side taps. Feet come out a little bit wider. Or if you're on the knees, knees come out a little bit wider. Right. Up on those feet. Bring them out wide, shoulders over the wrist. Shoulders down away from the ears. Tap and return. Good. You keep going. You are looking for that anti-rotation. Our bodies want to twist as we go to tap. We want to fight that twist. That's all about this stability. That's what we want that trunk to do. Sometimes it generates that rotational force. Sometimes it stabilizes against it. We miss out on a lot of this training. So it's great to include it. Out of way to work. I love it. I love your effort today. I love your effort every day. Nice. Here you go. Don't let those shoulders come up towards the ears. One more on each side. Beautiful. When I say that, we don't wanna let those shoulders creep up here. We wanna keep them down. It's easy to do, right? Happens all the time. Grab your ball, grab your band. If you want to, get that band around the legs. Trying to do too many things at once there. I think it'd be hilarious if I fell over on the virtual group exercise class. We would just roll with it. Here we go. Nice set position. Got my tension in the band. Boom. Gonna squeeze the ball. Try to make it pop. Set my shoulders back. Sidestep it. Three. Bringing that ball up and down. Good. I love your work. I love your work. Nice job. Nice job. Press that ball. Keep those shoulders set back. Down and back. Good. One more over and back. Nice. Elbow uh, plank hip dips. Let's get back down to the mat. Elbows down, forearms down, I should say. <clears throat> can be done on the knees, can be up on the feet. Wherever you want to be to start, shoulders away from the ears. Beautiful plank. 
twisting there. One on each side equals one rep. We got 10 of them. Good. If I wanted to be on my knees, I could be here. Good. Love that energy. Love that attention to your work. Nice job, nice job. One more each side. Good. Let's do it all again. Grab that mini band. Plank with taps. It's a good time. If you feel like you're getting too much of a twist with your hips, but doing it for your knees just wasn't uh, for you, widen your stance. Have your feet a little bit further apart. Huh? There you go. Bring it. Little baby taps out to the side. Trying to trace that pattern. Trace that movement pattern each side. Good. Nice work. Shoulders away from those ears. One more on each side. Beautiful. <sighs> Grab that ball. Grab that band. It's that feeling of tension that we're looking for in exercises like this. When we get that squeeze of the ball with our shoulders dead set down and back, we feel that anterior trunk tension. And then we're going to bring it up and down to just add that other something to keep that tension, to work at keeping that tension. Get that nice set. Tension in that band, hips back. Squeeze that ball nice and strong. Here we go. Nice job. Love that controlled movement. As you raise that ball overhead, if you're lifting your chest with it and arching that low back, that's not gonna help you keep that trunk tension. So only raise it as far as you can keep this beautiful trunk position. If you have to raise it or can't raise it as far because you're, you're not arching your back then, that's okay. Don't raise it as far. No overarching of the back. No losing that trunk tension. Love it. I'm gonna catch up to y'all. That just means you may do a couple extra. Big squeeze on that ball. Nice job, nice job. Last over and back. Good. Let's get that last hip dip in. Get that last little bit of rotation. This one, we do wanna get that rotation. We worked a lot of anti-rotation. Now let's really work through it. Still in that nice controlled manner. Find that start position that's gonna work best for you. On the knees, on the feet. Oh, forearms on the ground. Nice plank set. Shoulders away from the ears. Twist and dip. Love it. You got this. We got 
Two more full. Now we got one more. Over and back. Woo! All right. Way to expressly work your core today. Some nice, nice movements. Y'all did great. My name is Stacy. I'll see you here tomorrow for low intensity uh, strength. We'll be back on Thursday for some more Core Express. Come visit us in the Oracle Fitness Center if you haven't had a chance to. We miss everybody. It's so good to, to have folks back in. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.